thanks so much for sticking with us here on Fox 24 News AM Live. We have a very special guest today. Her name is Jillian, and she is with the Permian Basin Animal Advocates Group. She's brought in a furry friend today. We have a cat on our set, and his name is Binks. Thank you so much for being here. Yeah, uh, we're happy to be here. Happy to get a little <laughs> exposure for Binks. Um, you know, black cats are often hard to adopt out, mm. and he's had a, a little bit of a rough start. Um, Binks is about seven months old. Uh, he was found at Lowe's in Midland, and when they found him, they thought he was real sick um, because he he had real like runny eyes and things like that Aww. and um, after we did a little investigative work and got an x-ray on Binks we actually discovered that he was shot in the face when he was very young and there's still oh, BB no. pellets embedded in his face and in his skull and unfortunately there's nothing we can do to remove them um, because they're just grown in there now. Right. That is so heartbreaking and um, he's actually exploring our studio right yeah. now. It makes me happy though because usually when cats experience trauma like that they can grow up to be pretty timid, um, a little shyer, but he is so happy just walking around sniffing yeah. things. He's, um, and he's not <laughs> timid, he is not shy. Binks wants to be friends with absolutely everybody. Uh -huh. um, it, sometimes he doesn't even really know like how to read those cues from other animals that maybe need a little bit of space because he really just wants to be loved and have those friends. So. I know he's he's so sweet, um, and I kind of wanted to bring this up so we could touch on it a tiny bit. But it is harder to adopt black cats out here or to adopt them out to people. Um, what would you share with anyone who may be skeptical about adopting a black cat? Uh, black cats are great. I mean, I've got one, it, at, as an example, mm -hmm. my black cat that I adopted sat in her rescue for almost a year wow. before um, anybody even took her home and I just felt bad for her because she yeah. was by herself. So brought her home and she's been the best thing. Um, you know, don't be worried about the color of a cat. Uh, their temperament is amazing. Yeah. Um, and you know, it's, it's just really difficult to adopt cats out, period, in the Permian Basin. So mm -hmm. uh, one thing that we do and we're trying to do every month is we orchestrate a uh, transport to different various rescues that in states have stronger spay and neuter laws, so mm -hmm. their population isn't as overrun as ours is. We actually have a transport leaving today to go to Perendipity, which is a rescue in Colorado. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, there's a, one of the slides has about 15 of the cats that we're sending. Aww, so trying to do that about once a month. Um, obviously, you know, we need help with fosters, mm -hmm. uh, raising money. If you ever wanted to sponsor a cat, to send it on transport, it's about $60. Okay. Uh, to sponsor a cat and send it on to its chance at a forever home and a happy life. Yeah, and you do bring up a really good point. There is an issue with an overpopulation of cats out here, and it's yeah. very sad to me when I hear stories of cats at shelters who end up having to be put down with their litters because yes. it's just too hard for Thanks. them to be supported. Where'd he go? Oh, he's, he's, he, okay. he's going. <laughs> he, first he got behind our backdrop somehow. I don't know how he did it, but now he's kind of walking toward the front door. Hopefully he'll make his way back over here. I know, he's so, he's so sweet. I just, I love how big his personality is though. Yeah, he's great. And kind of a little background information. He actually got car sick. You know, while you're yes, coming over here. He got so. car sick. We had a little bit of an accident. I know, uh, baby. A monkey wrench in the plans, but we got we got it handled. It's, he's uh, he'll be all right on the way home. Oh yeah, and um, he's had his treats and yes. he's exploring. So he's good. Yeah, very but, sweet cat though. Yes, very sweet. And uh, touching back on what you said about the overrun population of cats, it's mm -hmm. not just cats; it's dogs too. Uh, another thing that we try to do as a rescue is just educate the general population about the importance of spaying and neutering your pet. Yeah. Uh, just because your cat is an inside cat or your dog stays in a yard doesn't mean that there's not a dog that's going to be able to get to him or another cat that's going to be able to get to him. Yeah. Um, so, you know, if anybody is, is, is interested in getting more information about spaying or neutering your pet and you don't know where to go or resources that are available to you, um, you know, even when we have additional funds, like, we try to help out. So right. anybody that wants more information, just really encourage you to visit our Facebook page. Um, you know, we can, you can make donations on Facebook. We have um, PayPal, Venmo, always looking for fosters. If you're interested in saving a life and you don't want to commit to adopting, if you want to let a cat or a dog hang out with you for just a couple of weeks, oh, yeah. um, makes all the difference in the world. I really enjoy those life. foster programs as well. Yeah. But check out their Facebook page. I love seeing the stories that you guys have for your animals as well, helping them get homes. But Thanks. thank you so much for being in our studio. Yeah, thanks for having us.